What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmiston here from Schwartz Edmiston Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I just wanna share with you some of the projects that I've been working on in the month of August, either experiments that I've been doing myself or projects that I've done for other companies or working with other Squarespace web designers. So this first project that I wanna show is this very custom fixed header. So instead of always being fixed at the top of the browser, it only appears when the user scrolls up the page. So it hides on the way down and then reappears when the user scrolls up. So a very, very custom fixed header. And it's pretty cool because it jumps out of the way when the user wants to scroll down and see the content. But when they scroll back up the page, likely they're scrolling back up to the top to get to the navigation. So it almost serves as kind of like a back to top button. So very cool, very custom. And here on a regular page, you can see the headers, uh, the logo is black and then it turns white when it's the overlay. Now, speaking of other header customizations, here's a very custom mobile menu that I did for another Squarespace web designer. She wanted the menu to say the word menu instead of being a hamburger menu. And she wanted the close icon to be the word close. And then I also set up her gallery slideshow here on her homepage to be 100% of the viewport height on all screen sizes. So it creates a really cool full screen gallery effect. Now this next project, I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna be creating a tutorial on this one. It is a touch enabled carousel. So instead of uh, having to click the arrows, it is touch enabled. So you can just drag each summary carousel item to the right with your finger or with the mouse. Really, really excited to share that tutorial with you guys. Now this next project is really, really awesome. If I do say so myself, this is a normal Squarespace summary block. I've simply done a ton of CSS customization to it. I've also made it touch enabled. So each carousel summary item has a really cool intro animation here. And it's just feeding in from a normal Squarespace gallery. So it's very easy to update and then everything just feeds right into the summary carousel block. So that gives you a little peek into some of the projects I've been working on in the month of August. If you guys would like some of these custom effects on your own website or have ideas for other custom effects that you would like to see if I'm able to implement for you, please reach out to me through my website at schwartzedmissoncom contact. If you would like to learn how to do some of these effects or just learn the basics of CSS in general, uh, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training so I, on a variety of top topics from very basic CSS to advanced CSS, from very basic Squarespace concepts to more advanced Squarespace concepts. So please, uh, if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one training, getting some more personalized information, uh, if you're interested in my tutorials and you like them, but you wanna dive a little bit deeper, then definitely I encourage you guys, please reach out. Um, I love doing one-on-one -on -one trainings and actually meeting you guys. So hopefully this was cool and inspirational and gave you a little glimpse into some of the projects that I've been working on in the month of August. All right, guys, that does it for this one. I will see you in the next one.